It's 1.20 in the morning. We're getting work done. Sipping from my Lexi mug. Let's get this over with. Hope we learned something today. <laughs> Hey there, my name is Lexi and thank you so much for tuning in for another episode. This is a continuation of a previous episode I did which was the questions you should ask yourself before writing an ad script for the brand you are collaborating with. This is a continuation. So we asked ourselves some questions about the brand so we can get a clear understanding of what the brand is, what the brand offers, and then you know how we can showcase that brand. Now, let's talk about actually writing the ad script for the brand. That's what we're gonna be doing in this episode. Um, so I'm gonna talk you through writing a script for that. And I'll be using the example of the brand I'm currently working with, which is A Star House, a women's clothing brand. So first thing you wanna do is get all of your information together we're going to recap what we went over in the last video in case you missed it. You can go ahead and feel free to jump over to that video if you want to watch it first and then come back. Or I'll just give you a brief little um, blurb, I guess, of uh, <laughs> the questions that you should have asked yourself before we get to this writing process. So before writing your script, make sure you have all of your information together. So what is the name of the brand? What kind of brand is it? What kind of products and services are offered? Can you show the product or show yourself using the product? What do people need to know about this brand? Where can people buy it? And do you have any special discounts or promotions for your audience to save money as an incentive for buying this product, all right? So to go through that information, again, I hope you caught on to that because that was like a quick little... A quick, a quick thing of like what the last video was about. So get all your information together. Using the example of the brand I'm working with, the name of the brand is Ace Dollhouse. Got that. What kind of brand is it? Ace Dollhouse is a women's fashion boutique online. What kind of product or services are offered for the brand I'm working with? Ace Dollhouse is a women's fashion boutique. They sell clothing. Can I show the product or show myself using the product? Yes, I can show myself wearing the clothes from this brand. What do people need to know about this brand? So the main takeaway for Ace Dollhouse, it's women's clothing for any season. It's affordable. It's quality clothing. I feel great in it. I hope other people can feel great in it after they buy it, obviously. Where can people buy this? People can go to acedollhouse.wixsite.com or use a special URL that I created through Bitly, which is in my description box down below, to buy from this brand online. It's an online boutique. And last question, do I have any special discounts for my audience to save money when they buy from this brand? Yes, I do. My promo code Lexi will get you 20% off when you use promo code Lexi, promo code L-E-X-C at checkout. Whoever is listening, you'll get 20% off. So, and this is real. So go ahead and take advantage of that. Click in the description box down below to go to A Star House's online website to shop and you can save 20% on the products when you use my promo code Lexi. All right, so before you start writing the script, make sure you get all of that information together. You can even pause this video, take out a piece of paper and make sure you get all your information. To recap, name of the brand, what kind of brand is it? What kind of products or services are offered? Can I show this product or show myself using this product? What do people need to know about this brand? Where can people buy it? And does my audience have any special incentive to buy such as a discount? Now, once you have all those answers, you can put it into words for other people. So essentially what an ad script is going to be, is going to be a short summary of all of that information you've compiled for yourself and now you're presenting it to the public. So it's a short summary of the brand, what it offers, where to buy, 
and how to maybe save a little bit of money when people buy it with a code that you and your brand should have worked out um, like a discount, special discount code or a special discount URL for your audience to go to. Now, things you want to keep in mind when writing an ad, you want to be cognizant of what kind of ad you are creating. So for me, the kind of ad I'm creating for Ace Dollhouse is going to be a video ad. And so for that, I need to write a script, but I also need to make sure that I am editing it to fit the the time span of what that video is gonna look like, right? So for me, I need to keep in mind the timing. Um, if you don't have a video ad as, you know, what you're writing a script for. You could also be doing a script as an ad break, which I did in my previous video, where after tip number three or question number three, I transitioned into a script about one of the products I'm offering, which is my ebook, Lexi Audiobook. So you can also be writing a script for that as well. So keep in mind, what kind of ad are you creating? How is it going to be used? How is it going to be applied? How are you going to distribute this ad? If it's something that you're just reading because you're doing like a podcast or you're doing a video like this, then you probably don't need to do the whole video editing process and making sure that it fits to the length of the video. You can just make sure you understand how to properly segue to your script. Um, otherwise, with the video, I'm going to show you how to make it seem almost seamless when transitioning. So what kind of ad are you creating? Again, watch your time. Try to keep the ad, I would say, at one minute or less. At the most, if you're finding, it, if you're finding that you're having a hard time writing for one minute, then keep it two minutes or less because you don't want it to be too long. You don't want it to take away from the, you know, the actual video, the actual information that you're supposed to be presenting if that video or that piece of content you're creating is not all about that ad. But anyway, be genuine. Write it in a tone that's natural for you and follows how you would usually talk. You don't want to create something that is not you because then it's not going to come off as genuine. It's not going to come off as something that you actually want to tell people about, something that you're actually excited to tell people about. So, be careful that you're not writing in a fake tone. Um, be careful that you're not writing in a way that you think people want to hear it. The reason why the brand came to you is because the brand knew that you would put your own special personality and your own special spin onto presenting the brand. And they like the way that you are with your audience. They want you to do that for their brand to present to your audience. Okay, so make sure you're being genuine, writing in a tone that is natural for you. And the last thing to keep in mind is to be sure to answer the questions that you yourself would have about the brand. If these are questions that you are thinking of that you would like to know about the brand, then it's probably something that you want your audience, your viewers, your consumers to know as well. So keep those things in mind. Now I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process that I went through or the step-by-step -step process that I go through when writing scripts for the brands I work with. So in this episode, we're going to use Ace Dollhouse as an example because I have to create a new ad for them anyway. So again, I figure I can kill two birds with one stone. So this is an educational moment to help you with your future brand deals. And I get to finish a new script for the brand that I'm working with. So let's get right into it. Um, example. Let's see. So... First thing you want to start off with is the entry line. At least that's what I'm calling it. And these are sort of like unofficial names. Um, but an entry line is going to be to introduce the brand name, to tell people what is the name of this company, what is the name of this brand, what is the name of this service. So no matter where I put it in my content, it should more or less feel like a good transition. So... What I started with in my script for Ace Dollhouse is I want to take a few moments to tell you about Ace Dollhouse and to show you how easy it is to shop with them. So I'm introducing the name of the brand that I'm working with and I'm also telling people like what's the purpose of me telling about them? What's the purpose of me telling them about this brand? Sorry. 
the chair kept hitting the thing, the wall, and it was really making me mad. So I had to like scoot up a little bit. But anyway, so my entry line is, I want to take a few moments to tell you about Ace Dollhouse and to show you how easy it is to shop with them. So it's super simple. You're introduced to the name of the brand and I'm going to show you how easy it is to shop with them. Super simple, easy entry line. That's really it. One sentence. It doesn't have to be anything special. So the next thing that you want to go into are the details of the brand. What is it? What do they sell? Why I like it? Why I think my audience should like it? So going through and also using the descriptors that the brand actually uses and working it into the script. So when you go on to acedollhouse.com, right underneath it says shop trendy online boutique, right? So that, those are descriptive words that that particular brand uses, that this particular brand uses. I wanna make sure I'm working that into my script because it's probably a descriptor that's very important to the brand that's what they want people to identify them as, or that's the kind of experience they want people to have with their brand. So it might be important. It might be worth putting that into your own script. So what I have written here is, A Stall House is an online women's fashion boutique that offers a versatile collection of trendy styles. There are literally fashions for every season and every occasion, and A Stall House updates their styles every month. All you have to do is go to acedollhouse.com.wixsite. Oh my God, acedollhouse.wixsite.com. Navigate to the shop tab, look through the styles you love, choose your size and add to your cart. So there are a few things that I just did in this little piece here. So I am giving you the details of the brand, right? Ace Doll House, women's fashion boutique, versatile collection of trendy styles. There's that trigger word again that the brand used. Ace Dollhouse uses the trigger, the trigger wording, trendy styles. So I made sure to include that in there. And then I also included details like, okay, they sell clothes. What kind of clothes? Well, fashions for every season and every occasion. And they update their styles every month. All you have to do is go to acedollhouse.wixsite.com. So what I did was I gave you information about the brand. I repeated the brand name and I used the buzzword that that brand wants to be associated with. I also went into where to buy the product. This is going to be really important. So once you've done the entry line, you introduce the brand, then you give details about the brand. Now, the purpose of the brand working with you is to bring more brand awareness to your audience to, you know, widen the scope of their reach. And so it's great that people are now aware of this brand, but the ultimate goal is to get them to buy more of this product. So, of course, you need to make sure in your script you are directing people to where they can buy, where they can consume, where they can interact with this product from the brand that you are collaborating with. So say, oh, something else. Say the brand's name as much as possible without sounding too repetitive or too robotic. So something that I did in this little, in this little uh, section that I read off for you, as well as with the entry line, right? So in the entry line, I introduced the brand, Ace Dollhouse. If there is a place that you feel like the word they is going to be used or the word it is going to be used. See if you can replace that word with the actual name of the brand, with the actual name of the company. So let me read that little thing for you again and see how it sounds if I just use like they or it. And I want you to kind of feel the difference, feel if it is the same or if you think you forget the brand's name easily because I don't mention it a lot, right? So I wanna take a few moments to tell you about Ace Dollhouse and to show you how easy it is to shop with them. It is an online women's fashion boutique that offers a versatile collection of trendy styles. There are literally fashions for every season and every occasion, and they update their styles every month. All you have to do is go to their website and click on shop. So I only said their name one time in the entry line, but in my opinion, 
If you're not inserting the brand's name in multiple places or as many places as you possibly can, I think for the listeners, it makes it so that they forget what you're even talking about or they forget who you're talking about, who they're supposed to be tuning into. So I think it's a good idea to insert the name of the brand or the company as many places as you can without sounding too annoying and too robotic or too repetitive, you know? So I'm going to read that again, saying the brand name. I want to take a few moments to tell you about Ace Dollhouse and to show you how easy it is to shop with them. Ace Dollhouse is an online women's fashion boutique that offers a versatile collection of trendy styles. There are literally fashions for every season and every occasion, and Ace Dollhouse updates their styles every month. All you have to do is go to acedollhouse.wixsite.com. Navigate to shop, look through the styles you love, choose your size, and add to your cart. So in my opinion, that just feels a lot better. And I feel like I've done a better job of letting you know who the brand is and then reminding you of the brand I'm talking about as I go through the script. So you want to make sure in the entry line you introduce the brand, give brand details, use descriptive or buzzwords that the brand um, associates themselves with. And then say the brand's name as much as you can without being annoying, without being repetitive, without being robotic. When you feel like you're about to say they or it, replace those words with the actual name of the brand or the actual name of the company and then see how it sounds. If it's sounding too robotic, if it's sounding too repetitive, if you feel like you're saying it too much and it's not sounding natural because, again, you want to sound natural with this delivery, then make some updates, tweak it as you need to. Now, in this ad, I'm showing how to enter my promo code online, so that's what I'm focusing on. If you are trying to direct your audience to do a very specific thing once they enter onto the platform of this company, make sure you are leading them step by step and telling them what to do. Something that I have learned when it comes to doing ads is Do not make suggestions. Tell them exactly what you want them to do. Do not ask them to do something. Tell them to do it. So what I mean by that is how would it sound if I suggested that they do something? If you want to check it out, then you can go to acedollhouse.wixsite.com. You can navigate the tab. You can look at the styles. You can choose your size. And then if you decide you want to buy it, you can add it to your to your cart and then buy it. Now, that doesn't sound very confident, right? When you tell people, when you kind of like command people what to do, it sounds more confident and it gives them a, more of a sense of urgency, in my opinion, more of a sense of, oh my gosh, I have to buy this right now. It seems so easy. Let me do it. So I'm going to read that again and tell me if you like the tone of this better than me just suggesting it. So now I'm going to tell people to buy it. So all you have to do is go to acedollhouse.wixsite.com, navigate to the shop tab, look through the styles you love, choose your size, and add to your cart. Now that is very clear direction. Go to this website, go to this tab, choose the styles you love, not choose the styles you think you like. Choose the styles you love because we're convincing people that, you know, you love this product. You love what this brand is offering. Choose the stuff that you love. Choose your size, not look for your size. Choose your size because your size is there and add it to your cart. I didn't say, you know, if you think you want to buy it, then, you know, go ahead and add it to your cart. No, you are going to look through the styles you love. You're going to choose your size And you're going to add it to your cart because you're going to buy it today. You're going to shop now. That's what you're going to do. So again, tell listeners what to do. And we're going to add these hand claps so you remember. Do not make suggestions. Okay? Do not make suggestions. Tell them what to do. All right. And again, um, going back to directing people where to buy because that is the ultimate goal Make sure that you are telling people where to get the product. Now, in the middle of this, I'm telling them to go to a very specific website. In my video, I'm also going to type it on the screen for them, as well as it should be like in the top left-hand corner of the actual thing. I'll show you at the end of this when I finish the script. But mention where to buy it in at least two places, all right? 
So I'm mentioning it in the middle and I'm also going to mention it again. So let me read to you how that sounds. I want to take a few moments to tell you about Ace Dollhouse and to show you how easy it is to shop with them. Ace Dollhouse is an online women's fashion boutique that offers a versatile collection of trendy styles. There are literally fashions for every season and every occasion, and Ace Dollhouse updates their styles every month. All you have to do is go to acedollhouse.wixsite.com, navigate to the shop tab, look through the styles you love, choose your size, and add to your cart. As a listener and supporter of my content, use my promo code Lexi at checkout to get 20% off your entire purchase. That's promo code L-E-X-C at checkout and you'll get 20% off your purchase. When I got my first purchase from Ace Dollhouse, I remember how amazing I looked and felt in that dress and I want my audience to feel the same. So head over to acedollhouse.wixsite.com and shop now. So as you heard from that read that I just did, let me get some water because my voice just did a weird thing. As you heard from that read that I just did, I mentioned in two places where you can buy it. So I mentioned the website in the middle of my ad and I mentioned it at the very end along with, again, that call to action. Shop now. Go to this website and shop now. Something else that I did is I mentioned the promo code at least two times and I spelled it out very clearly for them to make it plain what the promo code is. Now, I would say spell out the website of the brand if you can do that. Because mine is going to be a video, I don't feel like I need to do that because people are going to be watching and they will see the spelling. And I'm also going to be able to like include links. But if yours is like a, a podcast and people don't necessarily have something to look at or see, they have to listen for it, it's worth spelling it out. It's worth making it very plain, especially spelling out your promo code. And if you see fit, spelling out the actual website, because sometimes the website name can sound like something that it's not, or, you know, you may speak a different way that may not be clear for people to understand. So spelling it out will just provide clarity. And then again, you want to end with a command, a call to action. Shop now. Go to this website, go to this tab, look at these styles, choose your size, add it to your cart, shop now, use my promo code, save money, and it'll make you feel like da 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 da. So yeah, always end with a call to action. So just to recap what we talked about, entry line to introduce the brand name, Brand details, what is it? What do they sell? Why do you like it? Why do you think your audience will like it? Descriptors that the brand actually used, trigger words or words that the brand wants to be associated with. Try to work that into your script. Try to say the brand's name as much as possible without being annoying, repetitive, or robotic. Make sure you, if where you can, naturally place it. Replace the words they and it with the actual name of the brand or the company. In the ad, make sure that you're telling them exactly what they need to do. Do not make suggestions. Tell them what to do. Give them clear calls to action. Give them a clear place to visit. If you need to, spell out the name of the website. Mention any and all promo codes. Spell out the promo codes at least two times in your ad. And then end it with a command. End it with a call to action. So now that we've gone through all of that with writing the script, Check out the finished product of what I came up with for Ace Dollhouse. I want to take a few moments to tell you about Ace Dollhouse and to show you how easy it is to shop with them. Ace Dollhouse is an online women's fashion boutique that offers a versatile collection of trendy styles. There are literally fashions for every season and every occasion, and Ace Dollhouse updates their styles very often. All you have to do is go to acedollhouse.wixsite.com, navigate to the shop tab, look through the styles you love, choose your size, and add it to your cart. As a listener and supporter of my content, use my promo code LEXI at checkout to get 20% off your entire purchase. That's promo code L-E-X-C at checkout, and you'll get 20% off your purchase. When I got my first purchase from Ace Dollhouse, I remember how amazing I looked and felt in that dress, and I want my audience to feel the same. So head over to acedollhouse.wixsite.com and shop now.
Again, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. I hope you learned a lot about writing a script for a brand collaboration, and I hope this will help you for your future brand deals because trust me, it's coming. Just keep working at it. You're going to get those brand deals coming to you. Let me know what you think of the ad I created. Let me know what you think about the tips that I provided in this video. Let me know how they worked for you. Or if you have any additional questions, as always, you can leave it in the comment section down below. Or you can email me at info at LexiATL.com. If you need the spelling for that, it's in my description box down below. So like, comment, subscribe, share with someone who you think this will help. Um... For my patrons, if you are a patron, you are seeing this as soon as I uploaded it. But if you are not a patron and you're just watching on YouTube or listening on Anchor, well, you're, you may be seeing this or listening to this like a few weeks to a month from when I actually uploaded it. If you want instant access to more content like this, all you have to do is go to my Patreon, follow links in my description down below. Go to my Patreon and for as low as $5 per month, you can become a patron and get instant access to this content. As soon as I upload it, that's when you'll see it as opposed to waiting once a week on YouTube for the, the way that the public gets it. So if you would like to become a patron, follow the links in my description to become a patron for as low as $5 a month for instant access to this content. But again, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed the information. Until next time, my name is Lexi. Peace. If you wanna give me time, give me all of it. If you really wanna love, give me all of it. If you want it to be real, give me all of it. Get you all of me, baby, give me all of you. Give it all, give it, baby. Hey, this is Lexi, and you're listening to my new song, Gimme, from my latest album, self titled Lexi. Click the links in the description below to listen to my new album available on Spotify. Give it all of you.